So now that Peacemaker is out, everyone's asking. Cage, Cage, what's, what's the best character? What's the tier list? Who's the best? Who's the worst? Well, guess what? It's time to do an updated MK1 tier list. If you guys are ready, drop a thumbs up and let's get it. All right, this tier list, I thought... Why not spice it up a little bit? Everyone does the S rank, A rank, B, C, D, whatevers. We want to give a little bit more unique, detailed breakdown of our tier list. Give it a little bit more description, not just a letter. So here's our tier list. Here's the ranking. At the top of the top, we got, I did it for the rock. Meaning, we're doing it for the people's champ. He's the guy, he's the one. That's where you wanna be. If you're in that category, you're the best in the world. Next, we got the equivalent to the ends of the loaf of bread. Huh? Listen, no one wants to go for the ends of that bread right off the rip. But if you're out of bread and you gotta get a sandwich in, I guess you can pick them, all right? It's kind of like your last option. Next, we got you deserve a high five in the face. Self-explanatory. You're just kind of annoying. Get out of here. Next, we got you eat corn the long way. You sick freak. Don't want to even talk to you. Get out of my face. Get it. And finally, the worst of the worst. We got caboose. Listen, if you're in this category, you're just you're just on the loose. All right, caboose is on the loose. I don't know how to explain it. If you're just in that category, you're a different breed. Take it as you will. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. So let's go and categorize these characters. Now this tier list is not just who I think is the best character, who I think is the worst character. It's more of who I feel I had the hardest time facing. So keep that in mind. This is not the end all be all for who is the best character in MK1. It could be, but it's probably not. This is just who I think is the most annoying or who's the best of the best. Let's go, starting with Lee Mei. When I fight a Lee Mei player, it's not gonna be a good time, all right? It's not, you deserve a high five in the face. Easy as that. That's probably why she has those markings on her face. Too many high fives. Next, we got Brunkan. Uh, Baraka was like the most annoying character to face like day one of MK1 with the Cyrax and the Blenderizer. No, no, no. Now, he's a little bit more tolerable. So, ah, you get the ends of the loaf of bread. Baraka, he ain't getting that bread anymore. He's just getting the ends of it. Garrus. All right, every time I see Garrus, it's just a, a bad time, all right? Garrus, I feel like, is a very complicated character to play. But if you get good with him, it's a wrap. Also, he <laughs> he has those moves where he freezes you, and then he does a thrust. Um, so I, th <laughs> I think Garrus... <laughs> He could do it for The Rock. I mean, he low-key. Rock could play Garrus, so I'm doing it. Garrus is, I did it for The Rock. He's that guy. He's that guy, pal. Havoc. Personally, a little biased because I like playing Havoc. So I'm going to say Havoc is that guy. He's that guy. I would play more Havoc, but dude, YouTube just hates Havoc. Every time I play Havoc, I get my video demonetized. So um, you know what? For that reason, I'm just going to actually move him down one Bruh. because... Uh, He's not my first choice, but like, if I had to, I would pick Havoc. He, he is cool. Just YouTube hates him. Johnny, do we even have to talk about this? Ew, he's that guy. I did it for The Rock. He did it for The Rock. He's the movie star. Easy as that. Next, Kenshi. Kenshi was a problem during the early days, during the beta, during, you know, all that. But after the game released, he's kind of just been floating around. He's not the best character. People have gotten uh, used to fighting him. So I feel like... Uh, he, he he's caboose he's caboose sometimes he's on the loose katana baby Ooh, katana's katana's pretty good katana's pretty good uh i will say katana i don't really have too much problem fighting katanas i fought a couple good ones so i would put her in the uh, ends of the loaf of bread not bad kung lao dude i love kung lao top three favorite mortal kombat characters but i don't really play much of kung lao i don't see a lot of people playing kung lao at all so unfortunately kung lao you, you, I think Kung Lao just eats corn the long way and, uh, and no one wants to pick him because, uh, he's just, he's just a little weird, a little, a little, a little bit of a freak. <laughs> um, Lee Mei, Lee Mei is pretty good. Lee Mei, Lee Mei is pretty good. Uh, very strong. Every time I fight a Lee Mei player, I'm always sweating. So I'm going to put Lee Mei in. I did it for the rock. I know Lee Mei's done it for the rock. Liu Kang, fire god. Oh, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Liu Kang could be very strong in the right hands, right? But if I just had to say fighting Liu Kang online, I I fought good ones. I fought bad ones. Does he deserve eating corn the long way? Or does he deserve, I did it for the rock? I think Liu Kang did it for the caboose. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. 
Melina. Melina, surprisingly, is not as strong as I was expecting. Uh, she's still decent, but I think MK1 Melina is one of the weaker Melinas in the game franchise. So I'm going to say with her teeth, she's eating corn the long way. Melina fans, please don't kill me. I'm still team Melina, guys. I'm still team Melina. It's just we can all agree Melina could be stronger. All right. Please don't hurt me. Nataran! All right, Natara has been a long-requested character to come back. She's finally back. It's just voiced by Megan Fox, face capture uh, Megan Fox. Uh, that that was our uh, our childhood crush. She was she was the she's the the one. I would put her. For, I did it for The Rock. But like, man, Megan Fox did not seem like she uh, get, gave it her all when she was recording her lines. Like she did like one or two good intros and then the rest were like, let me just read this really quick and get that paycheck. So, uh, uh, Natara, ah, maybe a little high five to the face. Your beautiful face. Maybe a nice little caress of the, the cheek. I don't know, wait, hold up. Omni-Man. Okay, do we even have to talk about Omni-Man? Omni-Man is sick. J. Jonah Jameson, all right? J.K. Simmons. You know what I'm talking about? He did it for The Rock. I mean, his freaking, what, outro? He's carrying a giant rock. Easy peas. I love it. I love it. man sick. Peacemaker! You know what? We'll say Peacemaker for the end. We'll say Peacemaker for the end. Let's go through the rest of the characters here. Quan Bon. Quan Chi. Uh, if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that Quan Chi I've been rocking with. I've been actually liking him a lot. My favorite Quan Chi variant uh, has to be MK1. Quan Chi. His gameplay is too sick. So I'm putting him for I did it for The Rock. Quan Chi looks like The Rock if he did not get tan. Next, we got Ray Guy. Raiden was super annoying to fight early on in the MK1 days. I mean, I'm saying this like the game's been out for several years. It's only been out for a couple months, but Raiden at the beginning, super, super annoying. Uh, he's gotten a little bit more tolerable. So does he deserve a high five in the face? Kind of got one. That's why he's not as strong. So I'm going to put him as a, uh, you eat corn the long way, Ray guy. <laughs> Rain. I hate fighting Rain so much. If I fight a Rain player, you know it's going to be Sweat City. Maybe it's because he's shooting me with his water gun. I don't know. But Rain <sighs> deserves a high five in the face, dude. He's just, uh, I, I don't like him. I love Rain, but I hate Rain. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Reiko. Reiko, I saw a lot of in the beginning, but the Reiko uh, army has definitely dwindled in, in recent days. I haven't seen much Reiko and Darius combo. Like, I don't even see them at all. So, I'm saying Reiko, uh, probably eats corn the long way. That's probably why his fatality is so messed up, because he's just a freak. Bubba freak. Uh, next we got Reptilian! Reptile is cool. Reptile is cool. Uh, definitely not the best, but definitely not the worst. So I'm going to put him at the, the ends of the bread. He's all, he's, he's all right. He's in, in a clutch moment, maybe I'll just make the sandwich. Scorpionock. Scorpion's sick. He is, he's the guy. He's the face, right? But I would be lying if I said Scorpion was top tier in this game. He's not. When I see when when I face someone online picking Scorpion, I win those matches like nine times out of ten. All right, the Scorpion is not that great in this game. Uh, he's very weak, low tier. So you know what Scorpion does, right? He he has uh, he's the he's on the loose and he's going with the caboose. <laughs> uh, next we got Shang Tsung. Your soul is mine, and. I will say, I think I've only fought like maybe less than 10 Shang Tsung's online on my experience of MK1. When I did fight Shang Tsung, it was, it was, uh, okay. I don't think he's that great. He's definitely a high execution character. If, if you fight someone that is really good with Shang Tsung, it's going to be a trouble time. I just haven't had that experience yet. So... I will put Shang in the equivalent of bread. He could be good if you try him and you master that bread. General Shao's chicken. I'm just going to straight up put him in caboose on the loose. That, that's easy. Easy. I don't know why. He's just, he's that guy. But he's not the guy. He's just a guy, you know? Uh, Sindel, the scream queen. Definitely, definitely strong. Uh, she had that infinite for that small period of time, but then they patched it. Good. Uh, but I still think she's very strong character. So, you know what? I'm going to put Sindel in. I did it for the rock. I did it for the rock. Next, we got Smoke. Smoke was like the character that everyone in their mothers picked. Day one of MK1. I even picked Smoke. I thought he was so sick. His combos were cool looking. His combos did a lot of damage. It's just now he's not that great i mean i don't see people playing smoke like at all like I mean, uh, here and there all right there's still the the leftover smoke peoples but uh ah, ah, 
He's, he's bread. He's the end of the bread. He used to be the middle of the bread. The good stuff. Now he's kind of demoted himself. <laughs> Next, we got Sub Zero. It's like looking in a mirror. Sub Zero, day one, day zero, Sub Zero was so strong, man. You could do some damage. But then they nerfed him so hard, and he's been slowly getting better. But like every time I fight, just like when I fight Scorpion, when I fight a Sub Zero player, my confidence goes through the roof because uh, I know that Sub Zero just, just doesn't do the damage. So. He uh, he eats corn a long way. You know what? You know what? No, he's caboose. He's caboose and loose. All right. Sometimes he's good, but like it's just not. It's just not happening. Tanya, easy. Tanya deserves a high five in the face. I mean, she kind of looks like she got took a, a couple high fives to the face, but yeah. yeah Tanya is super annoying to fight. I see Tanya. She's doing the six one nine spinneroonie, hitting me for a million damage. I don't like her. Um, and finally, the peacemaker. Listen, you guys know my thoughts on the peacemaker. Peace goes around. Right, John Cena does an amazing job voicing Peacemaker. His gameplay is fun. His combos are cool. Uh, the throwbacks, and Easter eggs. Where I put him? I mean, he did fight the Rock, but did he do it for the Rock? Or is he the ends of the bread? Or is it the high five, the five knuckle shuffle? Or is he eating corn alone? Is it Caboose? Nah, I'm putting him. I did it for the Rock. I did it for the Rock. I did it for the Rock. And there you guys have it. That is my updated MK1 tier list. This is the best way I can describe how I feel about the current roster. Let me know your thoughts down below. Who do you guys think is the top of the top? And who do you think is the worst of the worst from the current roster? We got two more characters in the main roster coming. We got, actually we got three. We got Ermac, we got Takeda, and we got Homelander. Once those three characters come out, we might do an updated tier list. But let me know your thoughts down below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel because it's brand new. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged.